Hey there, everybody. It is, I don't know what date it is. It's November 9th, maybe? <laughs> it's Thursday. And I haven't posted any videos in quite a while, so I thought I'd, I'd create one since I went to the doctor the other day, or the dentist. And I have a couple of other ones that I recorded but never posted, so I'll post those too so you can uh, see what I'm referencing in just a minute. So, uh, I went to the dentist and I got another pair of finals. Um, I really loved the ones that I had on, but he felt like that I, I those were kind of based on what I wanted and he felt like they weren't quite the right shape or something for my face. So he, he wanted to create some new ones um, for me to try. No pressure. Just uh, try these in. See what you think. I, I think they're more like your original teeth. Um, not my jacked up teeth that he pulled, but the teeth that I had before they got jacked up. So these are the new ones. You can see how perfect they are. Um, believe it or not, they're not the super white color. I, I actually wanted it just a little darker, but uh, he convinced me to go with this uh, color, uh, which is a little bit more uh, brighter than, than I was gonna go. It was like two shades, which is barely visible. But he said that this matches uh, the most common natural color so um i don't you know you can tell me what you think i'm giving them a three month uh, three week run or, or two or three weeks whatever i want and i'll go back in and have the whichever set i like the best put in and the holes filled so right now i still have a slight lisp because i have um holes that are not filled in yet uh, once those holes are, are, holes are filled in, then I won't have that whistle because the air is hitting those holes when I talk. Um, you really can't notice it when I'm, it, it sounds like I just have a slight lisp, you know, which I can deal with. So these are tight, tight, tight. I can't pull any air through them. That, that's going around. No air gets through these babies. And it's surprisingly easy to keep uh, the finals clean. I drink almost exclusively hot tea. Um, I do use full milk in it because it helps um, deactivate the tannins in the tea somehow to where they don't stain so readily. I, that was new for me, but I've always been a, a, almost exclusively a tea drinker, but cold, but really strong. And uh, so I, I um, it's really the same. Like I'm drinking really strong tea, but I'm drinking it hot now because I really don't like the cream iced. Uh, the, I, uh, I like tea with cream to be hot or not, not cold. <laughs> so uh, let's see, anything else? Any observations that I have? Oh, my tongue, um, I knew even though nobody really agreed with me, my tongue felt scorched all the time when I had the acrylics in, and I thought maybe it had something to do with the material. I, I'm not allergic to acrylic, obviously, but I feel like my tongue always felt scorched, which is a horrible feeling, and I hoped that it would go away when I got the new, um, the new material. These are nano ceramic. They're not uh, zirconia. So, uh, sure enough, I mean, it was like the day he put these in, not these, but the, the first set I had, I wore those like a few months. Um, the, the, they don't, my tongue got better almost immediately. So there was something about those acrylics that my tongue just didn't like. I probably am a tongue thruster. My daughter is too. And, and, uh, I think that was part of my dental problem previously. It was constantly pushing on those those uh, front crowns and uh, anyway I the tongue thing is gone I have quite an elaborate 
cleaning thing, but I'm down to about 15 minutes twice a day for cleaning. And then if sometimes I go and I'll, I'll water pick in the middle of the day, if I eat something that really bothers me, like, because I still have the holes open, um, things get down in those holes and I cannot stand that. So they have to be clean all the time. So I, I, um, I use toothpicks on them and I use, um, the water pick mostly if I'm at home. So, uh, I guess that's it. I, I mean, this is really a great, a great process. I hope it lasts as long as it's being represented that it will. I hope these teeth last as long as they do. I know after three months of wearing the last set, there was zero staining, like nothing. They looked exactly the same as they did when I first got them put in. Um, there's no movement of these teeth. There's, they, they feel, I, I won't go as far as to say they feel like my natural teeth because, because they don't. You, your natural teeth have like feeling to them. You can, like you can, it's really hard to like bite your fingernails with these teeth because there's no feeling and I can't quite describe it, but, um, I can't, I can't really feel my teeth the way that you can natural teeth. Other than that, I mean, I think they look pretty natural, you know? I, th I think these look really good. And I had lipstick on them. Anyway, uh, they they feel good. They They make me feel like I look younger. I don't know if it's true, but I think it's true. I think they take quite a few years off of you. I'm I'm 55, and uh, I feel like I, I like smiling now, and that was always a problem uh, before I got this done. So I, it's 10 months into the process now. There has been no pain at all. Um, there's, I mean, it... It's the I had a weird smell, but I believe that that was related to the acrylic after all, even though I would have swore or I probably did swear back then that it wasn't um, because it's weird. He the, these had been on for the other set had been on for um, two months or a month and a half without being removed at, uh, at one point and because they removed them halfway in to to try in these, the wax. So they took those off and then put them back on, and there was no smell. So that's really weird it, because he did work on this one implant, but even after he worked on it, I could still smell that weird smell, that kind of bad smell. And... um he would tell me, no, that's, that's probably the acrylic because the acrylic called smells. So I would encourage anybody that's doing this to, to try really hard to not get acrylics and don't base the, the final impression of the whole procedure on acrylic because acrylic is very different than the nano ceramic. And I, uh, I have been graduating up to, I was just about to try popcorn. I'm, I don't eat a lot of popcorn, but I've really been hesitant, not because of the how hard it is, but because the little um, rounded shells, I was scared would get under there and I wouldn't be able to get them out and because it's so tight. And I can't get a, um, I can't get dental floss under these because the, um, the dental, because mine go down, like they're not flat on my gum. They go down and I have to get that. It's like a mountain underneath it. So I'd have to get that somehow, that dental floss up and over that little mountain that's underneath there and it's tight, tight. So I can't um, do that. And the I don't need to. Uh, maintenance wise, all I need to do is brush and use mouthwash and water pick. Um, they talk about dental floss, but if you can't get to it, it's fine. So um, anyway, the, uh, that's what I'm scared of. But I ended up going to the dentist and getting these put in 
So I'm gonna wait a little while before I try popcorn. I, I slowly work myself back up. I was eating bacon and I like it hard, like real crunchy. So that's a really hard food. I hadn't tried, um, I hadn't tried uh, beef jerky yet and hard, hard beef jerky because uh, the chewing, I was just, I don't know. I'm just building up to stuff and, and um, I'm getting, I'm getting there though. I mean, like the, the bacon, there wasn't any technical reason I couldn't do it. I just was uncomfortable doing it. And you can, you can stress the implants to where they're a little bit sore at night. I've done that a few times with some <laughs> aggressive eating, I guess. But, um, but anyway, that's it. I don't have anything else to report. I'll, I'll, I'll show y'all the, the final. I like these. They look good. And I think they look natural, right? I mean, I think they look good. Otter teeth aren't too big. The temps, the bottom teeth were so big. And the, the, they don't protrude too much. These stick out a little bit more than the other pair I had on. And I actually really loved the shape of the other ones because they were shaped like my sister's teeth, which I think are really pretty. Um, but he feels like this shape supports my mouth a little better and, uh, and looks, looks a little natural. I'm always smiling so big when I do these videos. Let me see if I can. I mean, you got to smile big so you can see them. But, but anyway, I think they look good. And, and I think people notice them. And I'm finally not telling people the story. For a long time, I was telling people the story. <laughs> so I stopped doing that. Um, now I'm just the chick with the pretty teeth. Bye. Y'all do it. Do it if you're thinking about it. Save the money. If you can only do it in stages, you can always get acrylic dentures um, and then slowly get the implants put in and then graduate up to these. These are really expensive, right? So a big part of the price is actually these teeth. They're like, I don't know, 10000 or more just for the teeth. So, um, you can get started though. Don't be scared to get started with dentures. If, uh, that was going to be my step. If I couldn't have figured out how to make this work, that would have been my step is to get dentures because my teeth look so bad and it's so bad for your, your self-confidence, right? Especially if you have a job where you're in front of people, it's really bad. Any job, any, anybody, it doesn't matter what you do. Not having nice teeth is um it, it hits your confidence and i've just noticed that i i i think i look more approachable with these teeth because i'm always smiling <laughs> i always smiled before but i you know would hide my mouth so um just do it it's life changing it's worth it it's worth it for you. If you have to drive an older car for a little longer, it's worth it. It really is. It's, it's a great, a great process. It, it just follow what the doctor says. Don't smoke. Um, and if you have any health issues, be really cautious. I, I don't have any health issues and I don't smoke. So I have had a wonderful experience, but I, I'm sure that there are people out there that, that will have harder time with it because of their ability to heal. So think real carefully about it if you have an issue, but otherwise just try to find a way to do it and get dentures if you can't afford to do this right off the bat. They're still life-changing. Just a denture is life-changing. It can change the whole way you look and feel about yourself. Take care. It's getting cold here. Not looking forward to winter. <laughs> Bye.